Hi brothers and sisters. I just want to make a video about the fear of the Lord. And I want to ask you, do you have fear of the Lord? And if so, why? And how did it happen for you? I would like to start the discussion with exper with my experience. So, I kind of knew well, I knew to, f to fear the Lord. It's in the book of Proverbs. But this year, God started closing every door around me. Oh my goodness, one by one. He closed every single door and frustrated my way to the point where I was almost went insane. Well, not like medically, but you know what I mean. I was completely awed by how powerful he is. I, know, I always knew he was powerful, but see, when he's, whenever he's, he's disciplining you, he just, he shut every single door, everywhere I turned, everything I tried to do for weeks, would not, months, frustrated, and it kept getting worse and worse. Oh my goodness, I cried and I cried and I cried. And I'm like, oh my goodness. And he was teaching me so many lessons. Oh my goodness. I was like hormonal, going through perimenopause. And yet, like you really can't even speak to some people some days with your hormones. And... I was almost in tears having to go out and deal with people and then I would get like really rude people in like doctors receptions and stuff and I would just have to take it because he was teaching me not to repair it even when in my really emotional and hormonal state of mind and it was so difficult and but like I never want to go through a season like that in my life again I really don't and that is what has given me the fear of the Lord. He can frustrate your ways like every single thing you do. Imagine imagine there was somebody on your street who was in charge of everything in your life. Who well, what time you could go out at, what time you could come in at, um, whether your computer would work, if the letter that you sent for a job application would be seen. Whether your shop would arrive, whether you would have enough money in your bank account, whether your grass would get cut or the lawnmower would break, it and um, like this is the the immensity and the volume and the detail that he has in our lives, and that's what I went through. And I, so when I came out of that season, I had the fear of the Lord, and I don't know if everybody has the fear of the Lord taught to them in a different way, but I played with God. Please let that be my only season that I experienced that and I never want to have that again. And you have to, the one thing that I learned out of it, what she was teaching me was humility, humility, humility. So it was a, it was a very, 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 difficult difficult time and season and I will not lift myself up no I am afraid to because <laughs> if I do I know we'll just be there going really you think you're all that do you right we'll see so thank you father for the lessons that you give us even though we hate them even though we run from them even though we try to get away from them ultimately when you bring us past a season and we have passed we see that it was for our good and we thank you for that Lord and we thank you for your grace during it because you could have been a lot harder on us let's face it so thank you for the grace and Lord I ask you if if anyone has yet to go through their season of receiving fear of the Lord that it would be one in which they would be obedient very quickly and learn quickly and be in communion with you Lord and be strengthened by you so they, that they understand what's going on so that they are able to come through it quicker
because the quicker that the lesson is learned then the easier it is to move on to the next season and I pray that for anyone who's gone through that right now or who has it coming up sorry that was extreme close up there (laughs) okay god bless have a good evening